And uh, I, I think we're, we're almost about to go live here. They, they just did uh, the old fake -a where they, they pretend to, to, to ready up and then uh, perhaps now they're going to do it. And looks like they have actually done it. They, they read it up and made it all the way to the beginning. So here we are, the rollout week two or Electro versus the bus crew. And we have both demos to mid at about the same time and no quick soldier as far as I can tell. Yeah, everyone take it pretty slow going through flowers. Everyone's just taking their Tetris, but there is a Sully in choke bombing in now. Both Sully's bombing from red team, bombing in, taking down Tetris. Nice rockets on the scout, but nothing to be found. Martin goes down. And this should be clean up. Olga backing up. Doesn't want to die here. No, it's on the tables. Warped under the point. Still looking for it, but going to get caught Ooh, up by Nevo. It's the direct there on the scout. That turns it around completely. Like it was looking so good for Aura Electro there. They had basically an even man. I don't want to say advantage, you know, because they had the medic, but just a, a really crisp rocket there onto a scout. Just going to take him down there from warp. So. Uh, the bus crew, they are going to take mid, but they lost their medic. Martin kind of found himself in a corner, being flanked by two soldiers on either side, and eventually he just got taken down there. Too much spam going on. So now there's this uber advances as, that uh, we're going to see Orlex are pushing here onto mid, trying not to get forced, but it's going to be so difficult. Poison's going to be the first one to put on the pressure, but he has been repelled. Yeah, just taking the space. Warped has to get forced out flowers here, and Slash is the only one in looking for something. Going to get collapsed upon. Maybe he can get a Sully for his trouble, but that's going to be it. Very solid push in there. They didn't lose the Uber, so they still have this advantage. The advantage is very small at this point, but they could still conceivably use it. Martin is on 90% and they're not on second right now. They, I don't think they expected to get the Uber in time to actually contest second properly, so they're just not even going to bother. So they're going to just set up the sentry on last, I assume. Yep, it's being uh, waddled out of spawn now. And we even have a pyro there to protect it while the little baby sentry gets erected. And now it's just a matter of how is Aura Electro going to try and, and break this whole hold as we go in because Sunshine is kind of notorious for being difficult to break. Yeah, I mean, I think maybe they were looking at bringing both their soldiers up here top right to spam out the gun, but they're just kind of, you know, taking a passive and we have a pause. Yeah, it wouldn't be any titles mm -hmm. without having a some pauses <laughs> oh god already yeah all right and so yeah okay so let's just talk about like what you can do to try and break this because there's not too much stuff to talk about otherwise that has happened in the game all right so you can see there's one soldier holding on the right side that guy is usually in a very precarious situation right because he can get obviously spammed down by scouts like he can get rushed down and then that demo man can also lob stickies at him really easily that's a, a pretty good angle for that as well and then of course like soldiers can, can spam him out as well so usually that soldier is going to need some sort of backup in order to hold the right side and we do see some stickies over the door and that's a really helpful uh, feature or, or way to help him out so just to make sure that someone doesn't just rush through and, and take down the soldier because scouts can definitely do that scouts are scary in prem it's kind of uh, ridiculous sometimes what these scouts can do so usually that left side is the the big sort of uh weak point and uh, we can already see now sword is already in on him and he's taking so much damage and looks like it's going to be nevo that gets taken down there poison will actually go down but uh, definitely pressure on that side that i was talking about oh <laughs> yeah i mean they got in very clean but um didn't have enough pressure on the gun and immediately just decided to get back out so still even ubers nothing lost nothing gained and teams are just going to set back up and aura are going to have another chance to try and push it here um, I mean, yeah, now that, you know, I don't know where the pyro is exactly, just back at spawn, chilling, so maybe they'd like to bring and another pause. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe they want to bring both their sollies top right and spam it out, or um, even the same idea, but bring it left side, you know, try and take yeah. that space and spam out the gun with both sollies, but the thing you need to be careful for is Yawn, because even though he's back by spawn, he has sticky set up, and he can just spam everything out if he needs to. He's in that kind of far back, but just forward enough that he can still be important if they try and push in. Yeah, it's, it's usually a very precarious situation. You know, like do, doing the double sword bomb up top is really good for like getting the spam in, but you're so likely to get like spammed out by a demo man and like get caught really heavily and lose players trying to take down the sentry that you really need to time it right. And, uh, you know, Currently, the way Jan is positioned, now would be a really good time to do it, obviously. 
but they, they don't necessarily know that, right? You kind of have to figure out where the demo man is, where the sword is, where, where the, the sentry is, where everyone's holding, how are the heals distributed, like, do you need to maybe pressure the left side first to maybe make the medic go over there and heal, and then you can quickly jump up a sword, and then you can do the double soldier spam. It's not as simple as you would seem, because unlike us, they can't like see through walls and just fly around freely on the map. Uh, they're, they're much more limited in what kind of information they have available to them, so they are just going to <laughs> have to kind of play it by ear and see if they can, you know, maybe spam down the sentry gun, and then after that, obviously, you want to jump in the soldier to get them the uber force. Now, then I think Hempus is currently just checking for for off classes in there, and uh, he will see Nevo on the sniper, and then he's probably going to go back to Pyro on the top left, if I had to guess. There's even like the the, the dispenser close by, which means that the Pyro will never run out of air blast, so he can just literally air blast all day. As uh, we have finally gone live again, there you go. That was a nice little pause. Yeah, I'm on the Nevo cam here. I'm really excited to see what he can do. I don't think Dungeon he's going to be able to see much, so. Maybe this is when they take left side, you know, get the sniper true. Looks like that's what they want to do. Nothing to be seen. It's the Ooh. shot of the demo. Nice one. Still peeking wide here. Lots of room to play with. Sees the medic behind a nice little thin piece of glass, so doesn't have to worry about it just yet. They're in they so deep right now. Like, look how much space they have on this left side, thanks to the... They oh, when Martin gets jumped, he gets popped. Ronch just worms his way in there off of all that space that Nevo's pick uh, got. Like, getting the demo man is basically the best thing after a medic you can get in that kind of situation, and Ron just uh, capitalized on it really beautifully. Normally, you would want to see uh, your Roma jump in, but hey, wh whoever is in a position to do it is absolutely just going to be the one who should just jump in there and get it done. And uh, that was the first pause. Not sure quite what happened. Oh, no, Olga's uh, dead. Olga disconnected, but uh, bus oh. crew are being some gentlemen, and slowing the game down, doing nothing, and just waiting for Aura to get their uber back. True gentleman. Man, that, that is real nice. Let's see if he even goes as far as getting some uber sauce in there for free. I, I've seen that, where people just like waddle out a heavy. <laughs> just like, I have a <laughs> dispensive portal. Uh, looks like... Uh... Alright, so... Out of this little semi-tragedy, we're gonna get a nice little heartwarming moment where they're just being gentlemen. So, uh... Maybe that's the, the Englishman just uh, showing the Frenchies how you play like a gentleman. Also, Martin isn't healing anyone here. Yeah, because they're giving him the uber advantage. Mm. So they're not only giving them uber, but also giving them uber advantage. Yeah, because they had that, right? Because he got yeah. forced. And the uber does come in, Eames focusing down the gun, gets it. Now coming across onto the heavy, just spamming him out. Onto point, lot of damage on poison, not able to pick him up though. Eventually, Nevo comes in on the flank, cleaning everything up. Hemp is so low, gets caught. Warp gets caught, bombing point, and now Nevo's just on point. Going to pick it up oh, after just Yon gone, goes down. Just alone in the world, but not going to be able to get it. Yeah, Bronze managed to get in onto the medic as well, while you were talking on the other side. So, just really solid push going in there, and uh, you know, no good deed goes unpunished as uh, or Electro. They're going to get the first round off of that. Uh, Uber Force into having the whole medic drop. I'm pretty. It's kind of funny how I, I, Olga joined because I think Juxta was having internet problems, and then <laughs> Olga just proceeds to immediately drop Uber to to a disconnect. That's very <laughs> true. Poisoned, already on the roof of cafe, looking for maybe a speed bomb. But Azunis is in choke, so maybe he bombs up onto cafe roof here. Fails his jump, just going to back back out, but big bombs just jumping around the point looking for something. Ama solo, Nevo solo. Both scouts eating big spam, but bus crew not capitalizing on it just yet. Martin is so weak. Like, he, he can't really go forward. Oh my god, he's oh. on one HP. He just ate like a random spam uh, rocket. Okay, there you go. Finally, he's gonna get taken out by Ron. So that was, I think that's the third time Ron kills the medic. And now it's a three on, on three situations, but more combat classes on the side of the bus crew. Take down the first guy. So now it's just a single scout. They're gonna have to Uber here. So now it's just all on uh, Nevo if he can just clean up. He will take down Slash, but everyone else is just scattered. Yeah, I mean, I think Ama, they're kind of tunnel visioned on Slash. He knew he was low, but chased for the frag and ended up uh, getting caught out of position and dying because of it. He couldn't get his, you know, 185 buff, which is really what you need when you have two scouts left alive. But Bus Crew are coming right back in. Both Sully's in flowers with heals, double bombing in. Anything to be found, bombing point, trying to find some damage, but. They eventually get Eames, Warp still on the high ground, gonna spam back down, Bronze goes down. 
So it looks like Aura going to be forced back out. Yeah, so uh, that was two mid-fights in one, basically. So I, I hope you like mid-fights, people, because you just got two for one. The special deal right here, and the bus crew, they're not done pushing. They want to go all the way into second here. Obviously, they're going to be a scout down who's capping. So this could be a little bit dangerous, but it looks like they just have enough presence here and just muscle everyone else for more Electra out. So really good push here from the bus crew. Really impressed with how they managed to just get in there, ride that momentum, and they're not going to have an uber advantage to work with, but they got a lot of points off of no uber advantage at all there. Yeah, so both the mid-fights so far have been really close. I mean, you know, you think... You think maybe Aura won that first mid, and then immediately they get a uh, repushed and pushed back out, and then again we see here something yeah. warped oh, in, in on the gun, gets on ammo, Ogre. forces him to poisons in, but just spamming rockets at an Ubered combo. They already got what they needed. Maybe yeah, they Aura do. want to uh, sack some Sollies out. You know, they have a player out here if they want to do something with it, but they want to play it safe. Just keep building, and hope that they have enough time to maybe get a late fight Uber. Yeah, they unfortunately also lost their engineer <laughs> in the same uh, time as they, their medic got forced. So they're just going to have to go more heavy. Okay, now he switched his mind. I think it's a little late for a sentry gun Amarok. Maybe just stick to the heavy weapons guy. But uh, because this Uber is about to just come in and wreck. The gun does mess up Jan's jump though here. So they're just going to rotate to the other side away from the Uber. Try and bomb back on. Eames gets caught. Everyone's collapsing on Olga now. 97, 9800 gets it. Big frags to be had here if Nevo can find them. Yeah, everyone has to just retreat the back out. Looks like they want to come back in here, the bus crew. They're definitely sort of positioning for it, but eventually they just decide not to go for it. I think they just had a few players that were caught in there and couldn't get out alive in time, and as such, they're just going to go back and try to build. And they might have a tiny advantage to, to work with here as well. They should know exactly what the Uber situation is. Like, they know Olga popped later than Martin did. So if they just build really aggressively and dot push, I feel like that's a, a decent chance to take. All right. Like, that definitely mm. really seems to be I right. mean, at this point, it's only 10%, really, because both teams are building really aggressively. You know, Bus Crew needs to buff all their players and then find the way to go in and go in. And I think Olga's just going to have this no matter what. Yeah. Oh, by the way, like, like you should uh, hit the uh, the J button. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, hard reload scheme thing. The time is always screwed up the first time for some reason. It's oh. just... Uh, it's all these damn teams and their pauses. Yeah, that probably didn't help. My, uh, yeah, my, my Highlander official didn't have like 10 pauses last two weeks ago. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm, I also have never experienced a pause in my life. It's, uh, it's just something that doesn't happen in TF2. All right, we've got Nevo on Sniper again. Last time he got the demo and this time it's the soldier. They just can't keep themselves safe. But the, obviously, he's uh, sniping from the defense this time around, so yeah, no no suicides in just for a while here, but are we going to see some counter sack? Looks like we are. Nevo's in, walking forward. They forced him out of oh, oh, bronze. I was on the Nevo cam, sure something was going to happen, but bronze gets it done, the up-and-coming player. Up-and-coming Amarok, yeah. I should Dude, say. Dude, bronze has been so brutal to Martin so far. Like, he has killed him like three or four times, gotten a bunch of forces on him. In general, Soldiers have been really good at getting forces on the medic. So, yeah, now Martin, he's gonna have to hold really far back, and uh, pushing on the last is always uncomfortable, even with an Uber Vent, and they're just gonna pop relatively early, and oh my god, Eames is just getting so stuffed, not being able to jump in at all, so everyone from the bus group just kinda waddle out, and they're fine. But uh, they are gonna lose second here. Oh, what's this banner? Yeah. Who popped that? They're That's bannering, bus crew. it's poison, they're coming back in already, True Flowers, both soldiers trying to find something. Looks like Aura just wanna get out. Maybe Warp can find something with these big rockets. Ron's in on Yon. Ooh, just misses the air shot. Gonna go down for it. Yeah, and uh, the banner is down here as well. And now we see as soon as with his own banner is the super speedy one. So, <laughs> just banners left and right being popped and built. Uh, kind of crazy. Okay, we've got a third banner now. Going oh in. my god. So there's just banner, back to back to back banners here. And Poison this time around. I think it was Warp that had the last one. And now it's gonna be Poison. And just this speed is just so scary, but it looks like they actually do manage to get out here. But <laughs> that's so much action with no Ubers used, just all banners. You know, you have to really keep track of banner ad when you get to this level of TF2. <laughs> Poison tries to bomb in, gets denied for it, and Ron's just spamming them back out. Nevo back on Sniper. They're ready to uh, park the bus, for lack of a better word, but maybe we see Poison come up on an off pass here, something to try and break this hold. 
Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's just gonna go banner again. Sunshine is one of the better banner maps for sure. Uh, yeah, he's on a banner again. And it, it's just sort of uh, like Gollywash and Sunshine and to some degree Granary are just kind of decent banner maps because you can hold or, or push into last and you can kind of just spam out a bunch and hit lots of people. You know, the top right area, if you spam that, you're probably going to take some damage, but you're also going to do some damage. It's just this area where you're, you're going to exchange damage, and that's really good when you have a banner. As long as you don't die, it's a really good situation for you. Okay, yeah. here's, a, here's the important question, actually. Do you build banner from giving sentries from, from damage being done? I don't think you do. <laughs> I think that would be pretty ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like you're right, but I, I don't I don't know why. <laughs> uh, well, either way, if you can... Both of Bus Crew Sollies are trying to build banner on this gun, but with Nevo kind of just sat here protecting it, warped, just barely, bullet whizzes past his hair, doesn't get him. He's playing with fire here with Nevo just watching this doorway. Yeah. Asumnus is also building his own banner, he's holding on that right side. And <laughs> I, I think we might just be in store for some more banners, but we do also have a sniper on Nevo trying to, to pick off the head of any soldiers that come in there and greedily tries to build their banner. I think I think we are just going to be in the kind of situation where both teams just want to trade Uber and then try and use their banners. Or just banner and Uber at the same time, but... Yeah, we also sometimes see people use the banner to build, or to like pop the enemy Uber. Mm -hmm. Where they just kind of use it as an Uber push kind of thing, and then they just punish them really heavily. Oh, poison <laughs> gets... Juggled by a rocket right into that sentry. Um, and Bus banner. Crew Bus Crew taking absolutely no chances back out to second, playing the very passive TF2 that is such fun to cast. Yeah, that's painful for Poison as well. He he spent so much time. I think he got his bands like 60% or something. And then he dies and now he has to start over. Uh, that absolutely hurts. And yeah, he is still not just on a banner. He's on the uh, battalion's backup, which will decrease the damage when you pop it by I want to say like 33% or something and also you can't uh, it's actually it. it's 50% for sentries oh, 50. Okay. Only for, oh, exclusively for sentries it is 50% damage reduction which you know maybe you just you know pop it and sack both your sollies into that sentry and just go for the medic yeah it, it's definitely something we've seen happen before like also sometimes people just use the the speed boost of the uh, the con conqueror to do that, but it looks like they've actually sent in a soldier. He's pretty deep in on this far left side, and yeah, he's gonna get jumped. So, what goes down? Poison might die here as well. Looks like he is gonna escape, which is important when you have this banner. Soldier's Pons gonna is in deep though, gets caught out. Eames, so aggressive here in lobby, wants to make sure there's no repush opportunity. But we're back out on second for bus crew, just everyone getting healed up, getting ready to push back in. They're just taking their time right now. There's still about six minutes remaining before the round gets reset, which you do not want to have happen when you're the bus crew right now. That would be a really bad situation. That would just be giving <laughs> the opponents two rounds for free. But that's uh, far out into the future right now. So we just see them continue to spam out with their banners. Uh, yeah, there's still only one banner on each team, I think. I think uh, Asunas and Poison are, are the banner leaders here. Nevo gets hemp. But, um, looks like they kind of want to take Lobby Warp, though, in Dungeon, critically. Going to get caught by Azimus in the 1v1, gets dropped. That could have been a big bomb. If he goes unchecked and he bombs into that Medic and Sniper. Yeah. Also, I want to point out, Azunus has a full banner. So, uh, he, he, if he would have died, that would have been tragic as well. He even tries his best to, to snipe it out, but once uh, the, the boss crew knows about it, there's just no way he was ever going to get a shot, so... They're just going to retreat back to last, put their tail between their legs, get back there, not throw people away for no reason at all, and just going to reset here. I'm kind of just wondering, when does the Sudas plan to use this banner? Is it after the Uber comes in? That's what I'm assuming he's saving it for. But, I don't know, I've also seen him just sometimes, he just pops it and then he just like runs into an enemy medic, and it's so, so scary. So, so maybe that's what we're going to see if he gets really bored. Yeah, I mean, bus crew, you know, have tried the same old, same old so many times in a row. You have to wonder, at what point do you, you know, maybe try a sniper, try something? Um, they seem really committed to just sticking with the meta here, but I don't know if it's working for them here against, you know, a sentry 
and a sniper or a pyro, you're you're going to struggle to try and bust in here for free. Yeah, I I really do think they're just waiting for the poison banner to come into effect because it's on like eighty percent or something. I think uh, I, I'm I'm just tabbing out to check the, the stream out every once in a while to see what what is that. I don't actually have it on my own HUD right now, so <laughs> I'm a little delayed <laughs> to, to see what, what the banner is at. But it, it's like eighty percent. Poison the last time I checked, but I think they're gonna start actually doing things once he gets that fixed out. They're trying to double soldier bomb right now up top, but they're not really committing to it. That was just sort of like one soldier peeking, then the other soldier peeking, and not really doing much. Okay, here we go. The double soldier and spam, and they do get the sentry gun. The warp's gonna pay for it with his life, but hopefully, poison got a bunch of damage in there. He did, he has a full banner now. Now, Rons goes down, but Ama is on the frontier justice. And I'm very excited to see some NG crits possibly come out. Hits the scout for 30, nothing to be found, he's 7. The Uber trade comes out, Ama can't get anything with those crits. Hemp stuck in now, gonna go down and... Slight Uber ad for bus crew, but, you know, again, by the time they buff everyone on their team up and take lobby and finally push in, it'll probably be equal Ubers. In your professional opinion, Mm -hmm. If you have one team with a con conch banner and the other with a battalion's backup, which banner is strongest in a straight up fight? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you. Go on. He just left. He just left me. That's how he leveled with me. That, that was the worst. Gets he gets called out. Okay, that, he's back. You, you just left. You just said I'm gonna level with you, and then you just disappeared. What? <laughs> yeah, you just left. You just disconnected from Mumble. I. <laughs> I was saying I'm a midi. I've never played against a banner in my life, so oh, I have no okay. idea. <laughs> you just, there was just such a big mystery what you were going to say. I was so angry <laughs> at your question that I rage quit the cast. Yeah, that's what I I mean, while we're bullshitting, two people down for the side of Aura. Going to take a lot of space. Poison's on the med. Aura forces out, but the Uber's already here for bus crew. Trying to salvage it. This is still maybe pushable. They're a player down and they just decide to get out even though there was a lot of damage to be found. This is uh, pretty painful at this point. Now there's only two minutes remaining. You can still build an Uber in that time, but it's difficult to build an Uber, build a banner and get the medic forces out, which we've seen so far. So the bus crew, they're going to have to mix it up now. They're going to have to approach this differently. I don't think they can wait for the banners to come into effect. Yeah, poison not even bothering anymore. So we have to have slash on sniper. So he's going to have like a hot minute or so to, to get some good snipes and some picks and then it, it's just push time and you just kind of have to go. Uh, uh, at what, uh, what point do, you know, bus crew maybe give up second? <laughs> or do they just want to reset the whole round? Yeah, I, like you, you definitely don't want to reset the, the whole round because then you give up two points for three, basically. <laughs> like you, you definitely want to fail the push and give them second more than you want to that. So, so now they just lost two, that's fine, right? If that can cause them to push out and take second, then you can retake second, that's fine. I mean, uh, here's the thing, though. I don't. Do you think Aura wants to push out here? I think I'd rather wait out the minute. Yeah, I would absolutely do the same thing. Uh, but Uber they're actually going to take lobby, the Uber yeah. exchange uh, in lobby, and it's a much better Uber right now for the bus crew because they they had the only one player to flash. There, everyone else was kind of bunched up for Aura like this. So they're just sitting back right now. Uh, Hemp cruises in, and he is getting overwhelmed. But now the bus crew they have to push in on this left side. They have a minute to go. So maybe yeah. they can try and build Uber really quickly and then do a dot push, but they are actually slightly behind on the Ubers. Yeah, bus crew don't have a scout up here, so they just have to build with poison, but they're not even building. Um, I think they just want to go in dry with no Ubers, hope that Slash can click a few heads, but we'll have to see if he can manage it. Yeah, you just... I don't know, you, you just hope Slash hits uh, all has the best shots of his life, basically, as... Uh, as Hemphu's going to go down immediately. Here's a banner, I think, on, on defense, yeah. As the medic actually does get forced, so that's a pretty nice start. And, and uh, the screw are have... backing out with 15 seconds left in the round. They, they tactically didn't build the Uber quickly enough, so now they're going to go in here with the Uber advantage after the enemy medic got popped. They have six seconds remaining. There's actually time on the point that will extend the round. I'm pretty sure, pretty good time on it, but no, eventually it's just too much. And uh, they could actually go out here and cap second. Uh, do you even want to do that, or do you just want to? I guess you want to do that because you have the medic. I, I think they want to try, but um, no, no it doesn't happen. Get onto it. Okay. Yeah, no, Ron tries to get on point, gets 
knocked off by warps who i guess warp says you know what we do want to reset the round here yeah it's just a this is just the match where we get all the mid fights right we had one mid fights then we had the second mid fight which turned into the third mid fight in the same mid and then uh, without getting a round end we're going to get the fourth mid fight basically Yon's so aggressive here, just wants to keep Eames stuck in flowers, but Eames just waddles out. Just slowly and safely. Okay, those soldiers in through in the flank area right now. And Eames actually going to get the pipe down there by Yon. So a weird situation where the bus crew has a much better position, but they're actually a player down. But they are going to convert it into a medic kill slash getting that crucial pistol onto Olga. So now it's just a matter of will or like to come in here and try to just bomb every single person onto the medic looks like the answer is no because uh, it's very dangerous situation where you have a medic and say three players and the opponent team have four players because they have four combat classes that can all shoot and do a lot of damage and you only have three so it can be very difficult to protect your medic in those kind of situations but uh, or like so they were not really in a position where they could properly uh, go in for that kind of sack in a big wave or just take the big fight so they're, they're, bringing, they're already them. using in. They're in true dungeon so quick. They're missing two players in this fight. Yeah, Sega only point. just got capped as well. Yeah, Jan's behind point here, ready to put some spam down. The heavy comes out of spawn on Ama. Martin's solo, gonna get bombed. He's just about to get out on 10 HP again. And this oh. is another fail push. I don't know, that was a... They pushed in 4v6 there with the Uber. They had a scout on point on a Solia coming in late. Um... Well, at yeah. least we at least we don't have to wait nine minutes for the round to reset now. That's definitely seeing the positives in that one. Uh, I don't think the bus crew are quite as happy as you are about it though, as uh, they just missed a really big opportunity there. You know, they pushed in. They didn't even have a uh, second cap when they pushed in, so they couldn't pressure the point. So, you know, or like they just kind of sat back and didn't engage with them for as long as possible. And now they're going to push in here. They're actually going to get forced here in choke. Poison's going to give his life up to, for the Uber here, and everyone else is just going to get out. So a pretty good exchange there by by Poison. You, you take that any day of the week. Looks bad in the stats, but it's, uh, it's absolutely worth it. And look at how aggressive the bus crew are here in Flowers. Yeah, they want to come right back in with this Uber. Waste no time. Nevo and Asuni both behind, trying to get this. Asuni alone to one of you on a scout. He's on the pain train, though. Going to eat that extra damage, and Poison bombs in help that but in the meantime they're kind of losing mid for this never mind yeah. Ama goes down in flowers and now they're all going to get pushed back out Eames could maybe go down here stuck alone in cafe hemp is running at him Eames gets the pack yeah, just Bronze barely comes to help to get out oh, oh he doesn't mind. I spoke too soon Jan comes in uh, cleans up the scout dirty work there but yeah as soon as he does this stuff a lot where he just pulls everyone back he he's a believer in the uh, the pain train as a uh, Hemp is gonna get Poison is behind, crunch. he bombs over Olga, <laughs> turns wow. around, lands on him, and two rockets him. There we go. Gets it out. That was a, a pretty ugly push. Uh, Hemp was, was just kind of getting completely crunched by two soldiers while. But it just worked out really well that the Poison managed to get in off of the whole distraction. Amarok is now on the sniper in spawn, just uh, kind of hoping to hit the miracle shot. But uh, Martin, he's just taking his time, just getting everyone back up. You can see Poison, he just spawned. So now they're just going to slowly make their way in here. I think I think they've spotted the sniper in spawn. Yeah, they have. Uh, Warp's just kind of trying to deal with him, and they're doing a good job of it. I'm a still in spawn here, just <laughs> refusing to back spawn. <laughs> there he goes. And that whole time, Nevo was uh, already on entry, building up a gun. But this time on the other side of the map. Indeed, and Martin, he has about a 50% advantage, so they need to just go in here quickly, and they're going to do just that, just... Ubering in the demo immediately, they didn't know where the sentry gun was though, it's on the opposite side of where they were expecting it to be. As Amarok, he, he gets demolished there by a pipe, he's a good job. Whoops in on the, the medic, but not able to have enough damage there, he's just taking so long to get it killed, but oh my god, the cleanup comes in and bus crew, they equalize it one to one, and this has been such a slow game, but it is very close. Yeah, I mean, 26 minutes to get two rounds done is just... It's very tiring, you know, to watch, but also to play. I mean, these kind of very long, slow officials really take it out of you. Um, so both teams are probably going to be very happy to get into bed by the end of tonight. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Or like, I think they, they thrive in these slow matches, to be honest. But 
Well, let's see what happens here. So Jan's going to be the one to go down here. This time Poison just jumps in and two shots to Medic though. All goes down. So now it's just... Uh, that's going to be the only kill though. Everyone else just going down immediately. What? He's going to die. He doesn't know where he gets a kill. Yeah, there you go. So full wipe from the bus crew, but they do manage to pick off the Medic. Yeah, I mean... You know... Bus crew Solly's here after this has been doing so much. They've maybe not been in the greatest positions at some times, but when it comes to the big picks where they need to just, you know, get Olga down and move on, they really, they come true every time. Yeah. I feel like you can uh, apply that to all four soldiers in this game. They've been very efficient at getting onto the medics and forcing them. It's, uh, it's been one of those games that it's been kind of slow, but it's not because the medics are really well protected. It's kind of the opposite, where the medics never have an Uber to push with, <laughs> and they don't have the Uber advantage if they get forced immediately. Uh, we have a soldier and a scout in very aggressively. They're looking for Martin, but Martin is just hiding in spawn, and this push is just coming in. Neither team actually has Uber right now, so this is a very uncomfortable situation for both teams. Yeah, I mean, Aura, I think we're, you know, maybe trying to just go for a double Solly bomb and force the meta out, and they just saw all that space they were being given and said, yeah, why not just turn it into a dry push, but eventually losing two players, they just need to back out, and those crew are in, warped bombing Eames, forced them out, backed out into dungeon, Hempus, staying up here, eventually him and Martin have to use, chasing the frags in lower, and no, they're just back out to last. Yeah, everyone just saw the, the flashy shiny Ubers, and they just decided, I want none of this. Let's just go back to our own homes and, and chill out. Actually, Soda is in pretty deep right now. Tried to get onto the Medic Martin and still basically hiding in spawn. Finally, he's out of it, but two scouts on the point. There's so much time to just cap it. He just no. capped it. No way, man. That's crazy. There's no stickies on the point, and they just, just capped it out. Two scouts. Yeah, I mean, they had a heavy watching the point, but at that mid-range, you just can't kill scouts quick enough. That was really just so painful to look at right like because it was just the heavy shooting at him and it was just two scouts and as you said he just didn't have the, the out damage output to kill them fast enough like he got one of them i think but this wasn't enough and now plus they need to get around in under a minute it's possible but they need to get their hurry up yeah they need to bomb both their soldiers right now and here they come in warped already so low two hp eventually goes down poison 50 hp and they're just crumbling here Yawn with the GG in chat, and that's going to be map one. Indeed, that was uh, a bit of a heartbreaker there for, for Bus Crew. You know, they they did the the well mannered thing. They they gave them the Uber advantage after Olga dropped. Then they got punished for it after a really long round, and then they were unable to push in onto Aura Electro for ten minutes. Aura, the Aura wants another round. They're in last. <laughs> Sticky's on point, but they want these frags. Maybe this cap. Not gonna be able to get the cap. Ama tries to go on point and eats 400 damage from the Sticky's for it. Yeah, yeah, that was all just there. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't think anyone on Bosco were really playing at that point, but yeah. yeah. Or the dude was like, nah, we, we like this. <laughs> we're just gonna keep going. Uh, so they're gonna take it uh, one to two in a bit of a heartbreak uh, situation there. I feel really bad for Bosco. They, they struggled so hard all game to get those points and it was just robbed at the very end to just a, a lapse in, of concentration for a very short time right like one rocket mm. on the point i think is all it would have taken at the same time though when you have 10 minutes to push a last point and you just can't commit enough to either get the last point or get pushed back to mid that's kind of on you i think bus crew very hesitant at some times and then other times you see them take in you know a 4v6 uber and just hail mary it into last and pray for the best so maybe too passive when they should be a bit more aggressive and then far too aggressive at some very weird times yeah i definitely think that's a that's a fair fair criticism of them that uh, they, they couldn't push in while they had all that time to do so they were just uh, i i do like that they were just building up banners for a while like that that makes sense but it just ended up being a bit too much of that, just kind of waiting while they were doing that because they didn't want to risk the soldier dying. And yeah, I mean, they spent, they spent eight minutes trying to push with two soldiers, two scouts, and I think eventually Slash switched to Sniper, but, you know, every time they would try and get a pick, someone would eventually, you know, a soldier would die and they'd just have to back out to second. And they just wasted so much time 
um, in and out of lobby. Yeah, uh, I, I do love that uh, the highest DPM in this uh, game was uh, 226. That should tell you how slow it was. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's a thing. But I mean, I, I think or like so they're not going to lose sleep over this. They they got their, their three points uh, on the first map. And I, I feel like or Electro, they, they they struggled last week where they were playing against Garda Pantry. I think they won 2-1 on Sunshine as well, just off of the top of my head. And then they did a lot better in process. So so maybe or Electro are just not that impressive on Sunshine, <laughs> uh, which is bad news for for the bus crew, if we're being honest here. But hey, uh, I, I was very happy to see Jan doesn't look... Uh, rusty at all he i kind of think he had a, a bit of a break from tf2 where he, he wasn't playing as much but yeah he's back and he's he's looking really good so that's always good yeah i mean you know it, it was quite a slow game but uh at the same time quite exciting i mean the mid fights were always so close except for that final one where um bus crew had to kind of rush it and try and just kill everyone on aura in 10 seconds but, you know, when they had a comfortable amount of time to kind of do their thing on mids, mids were always quite close and, you know, interesting to watch. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, and we got a lot of them. Like, we got two for one. Uh, yeah. It's, 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 no complaints on that one. Like, it, it really was just the, the last point where it really bogged down. Uh, because outside of that, the, both teams are really good at uh, taking advantage of, the, of, like, just these tiny little advantages that they had going for them. And they were also very good at like uh, like pulling people back with the, with the pain train or whatnot on Asunas. So now we're going into Granary. And this is uh, probably one of the more unique maps in the map pool that I've left. It's sort of a, a relic of a, of a bygone past almost. It's a very old map and it plays quite differently from anything else in the map pool. It's almost like a 7 CP map because of the, uh, the whole like yard area that, that mm. you can hold but there's no point in there <laughs> so it, it can be a bit different and uh, i i personally like it but i don't know how you feel about granary i really like granary you know i think like you said it's different and i think anything that brings some variety into the map pool is so welcomed um i personally you know i'm always quite sad when e2f12 tests out these new maps and then season and season over and over again just never put any of them in the map pool um granary kind of always thought of as a soldier map, but, um, you know, I think Bus Crew and Aura, I don't think there's any standout soldier. I think both soldiers, you know, pretty evenly matched, all four of them. Um, so I think Aura, actually, I think uh, Ama and Nevo here are really going to show that they're maybe the better scouts in the server, you know, just denying the bombs harder, focusing damage harder, and I think we're going to see Aura take this one. Yeah, if you just go by the logs, you can see that uh, on Or Electro, it's the two soldiers that are leading in damage. So, so that's a good sign going into Granary, right? Like those are kind of the the guys you want to have leading the charge. And then if you just look at the the scout quality, like Emrock and Nevo, they should be better than Hempus and Slash, who are both like relatively like unknown to to Prem, especially Slash, right? So, um. It's definitely looking good for Aura Electra going into this, and just also the playstyle wise, and just the fact that uh, the bus crew got their heart broken, so to speak, in in the final dying minute of that game. That's uh, it, it. All favors uh, Aura Electra in my book, but I don't know. Do, do you have a, a hot take that, that maybe I'm wrong? Uh, hot take. I think Jan might pop this game, but we already see Asni's on Martin gets the rocket, gets hemp as well for it. Eames left alone here on mid trying to jump out. He does get out, but Poison's hot on his tail to chase, but he's just far enough that he can't get caught. So Aura losing this first mid, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised to be honest. I thought they were in a pretty good position and then, you know, they got a really nice bomb in, but just can't close it out. Yeah, unfortunate there. But uh, yeah, Olga's now going to have this... Uh... This fat uber advantage to really work on here. So they're gonna moving in, and this is one of the the more difficult points to push in, in the entire map, going from second into middle. 
It is uh, a lot of doors that have been widened, but uh, not enough to make them good exactly. Amarok's going to take a ton of damage. Looks like uh, Orca has made his way in uh, without taking too much damage. Actually, they somehow make it through while taking down a ton of players. So a really well, uh, like, well done push there by uh, by Aura Electro not losing the Uber. Yeah, I mean they're very methodical about that. Uh, Warped was trying to hide there behind, but. You know, they didn't rush it, they kept it slow, made sure to get the people who are overextended hiding. They're coming into second here, warped, it's forced, Eames gets forced, trying to bring the uber forward, but it's a trade. Poison's just sat behind him, they don't see him yet, eventually they turn around, but that's going to pressure them all the way out. Yeah, just uh, the pressure of him going behind there is uh, just enough to make everyone back off. So so now we're in this uh, stalemate position, which is my favorite stalemate position on this map, because you can't really hold all of the doors properly on defense here all right like you 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 don't have enough uh, firepower really to do it like there, there's the main entrance and then there's the the far right one and you can't really hold the stairs properly so you can get soldiers and scouts and whatever really close on that right side so everything just gets very bogged down and very uncomfortable you can kind of see how compressed the entire bus crew team is right now because they're just waiting up here and uh, yeah, it looks like Ron's gonna get taken down. The really good spam there for Poison and Warp. Just making sure no one can get through. They're coming into Z Warped coming into Z here, trying to get out, maybe spam something, but eventually gets spotted by a soldier and has to back up into lunchbox. There's a soldier in drop down. Uh, oh. Yeah, that was as soon as. He, like, once you're in there, you can't really get out. Like, <laughs> you take so much splash damage in there. So he, he just committed for it. And he was like, all right. Oh, I they drop I'm... yawn. They popped Uber, but drop yawn for it. And now it's gonna be. Ama alone in this, chasing two scouts. Oh, he's calling GG already. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> oh no, Yon. Oh. <laughs> Olga does not turn around. They go so deep with that Uber. And Olga just has three players stacked up behind him, ready yeah, to Yeah, he just backed up into absolute death. That was pretty funny to look at. And uh, as soon as he's once again in the drop down, I don't know if he, if he jumped up or whatnot, but... Yeah, Ron's jumped up there, I think. Um, you talk about you know, the second point being so cramped, I mean, talk about drop down. If you're in there, you're not getting out. No, it, it's really, it's quite shocking. Like, if, if you've ever been in there, you, you will have noticed that if there's a soldier spamming you, you just die to it. Like, you can't get into the drop down fast enough. It's, it's kind of crazy. Once again, there's a soldier behind lines. This is so annoying to deal with. Granu is kind of uh, notorious for the back caps. You can go on and look at this. As soon as just pulling everyone back, it was looking like a nice pushing on to mid. But now because of the soon is just back here, just gremlin about with his uh, stupid pain chain, everyone just has to go back. And now he's threatening to like pop the medic or whatever, right? So now <laughs> they have to send two players back to deal with him. And there we go. They do. They, get him. they do. Nevo tries to slip in on scene. I think Poison Poison did see him, so he's not. They're bringing everyone, they're bringing their demo back to try and deal with the scout. Everyone is coming back to get this Nevo frag, but he's wasting ju just enough time. Oh my god, he's juking them so hard. <laughs> <laughs> he should have been dead like 10 seconds ago. <laughs> oh, Rons goes down, the Uber comes out on Eames, but there's nothing to get. Bus crew are all the way out. So, yeah, Bus crew with 50% add here might be able to push out all the way into mid. Definitely a real possibility here. They're going to go in through this... Uh... It looks like the right side is where they're going to go in through the ramp room. And that is usually a pretty good spot because uh, the soldier is not on the crate to spam down on them. So they've gotten in pretty much for free. Ron's is uh, just being floated in the air. Eventually going to get taken down there by a nice rocket from Warp. And Nevo is actually stuck on Sniper. This is a pretty uh, weird uh, spot or to have a Sniper on. Like there's no real good Sniper lines without super duper committing. Yeah, so he's just going to go all the way back he in. Oh, he's thinking about maybe taking a shot, but in the end, all the way back to last to switch off. So they have to give up second almost completely for free here. If Bus Crew peaks the second point at all, they will see how passive Aura are, but... Yeah, this is he... actually weird to me. Like, they have the Uber, so they should just get in here and make sure that they can actually pop it. But I guess they just want to make sure they had all their players available to them in here. And as you can see, the base has sort of been breached already. People are in the, in the stairs already for the bus crew and looks like they might be sending in the soldier up top we do have a soon is up there uh, as well as a scout that's amarok just making sure that no one can go through but oh yeah they, they did a good job of that for sure uh, it was actually pretty well played there by warped warped took a bunch of spam and then poison jumped in after that but he just got juggled so hard that it didn't quite work out but uh, a valiant effort there 
Yeah, Aura bringing their beam forward a little bit. Looks like they want to try something, but they're just unsure about where they can go to get out. Now, now, it's also difficult to pinpoint where the enemy medic is. Like, where, where is Martin, Martin holding? There's not like a standard position for the medic to be holding uh, in yard, right? Like, because they can be holding on the far right side, or the far left side, or stand in the middle. Uh, there's really no way of knowing. Maybe they're like inside of the <laughs> the, the staircases, just healing in there. So it's very difficult to pinpoint where the enemy medic is. And I'm wondering, are we going to see a banner? Yep, poison is on a banner. This is a really good point for, for banner as well. Here on Granary, this second point. It's so, so good. We've seen the spam already up on this high floor. And, like, you know, when we have a poison goes in there, he's going to take a bunch of damage, but he's also going to, to give damage. And when you have a banner and they don't, you just gain so much from that trade. They get warped in on Olga, forces them out. Wow, really good job. Yeah, I mean, they keep trying to get in there eventually. If they just keep buffing up their soldiers, they'll eventually find a nice little timing to slot in. So bus yeah. crew want to take this back onto the flank, just force them all the way out. As soon as almost has banner as well, because by the oh he does have a banner. Okay, so as soon as he can use this banner to try and hold this Uber off, or maybe come back in after the Uber, and then depending on how much poison is able to be, get done, maybe he can uh, retaliate with that. But they yeah, lose a player here. Yeah, that's uh, that's really big, and they're not really using this Uber, but I think at some point they're just gonna have to. Yeah, they're in now, but they took it so slow. Rons is in on Poison, can't get the second rocket. He gets caught down, Warped gets caught in the process. Poison's solo, now they're taking the Uber, but it's just a solo scout. They get forced and there's nothing for it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bit of a tragic Uber right there. They didn't actually need to do it. I think they popped to save Poison, but po Poison was obviously already dead. And now we have this, uh, this Uber and I think a banner onto as soon as I didn't notice whether or not as soon as died he didn't so they could actually just use the banner to get out here and get the, the pop if they want to or they can also just you know everyone starts running faster once the banner gets popped so if uh, they're all the way out true z warped is hiding though forces out the uber now goes down for it but bus crew just back out to mid with about a 60 percent uber ad but I think Aura just want to take this, you know, they know there's only four players up, they want to pressure. So they're all right in, popping the banner. Asuna is in deep on Yon. Going to get caught out by Poison, maybe? No, Poison's out, gets caught by Nevo, who just waddles in. And, you know, yeah. maybe they can force them passive on second here if they keep the pressure up. They know they have Uber disad, but they just want to stay a little bit aggro and make sure to waste as much time as possible. Yeah, I, I think they just wanted to, to make sure that everyone was gone and maybe make them back up so they couldn't get in as fast. This is a, a pretty difficult point to push in on as well as uh, I said earlier, but everyone's just holding kind of far back and just the fact that Azuna is on a banner means that he's not really able to jump forward with the, the gunboats as well, right? Like if he's too far forward, he can't jump, up, jump out without dying. Uh, Martin goes down very weak right now. He's in danger of dropping. He's <laughs> in the danger area, but it looks like he is gonna hold on to it, but Olga, he did manage to escape there, and he has an Uber himself, so now we're in this uh, second to third, or second to mid stalemate going on, and uh, we have banners on both teams again, I think. No, never mind, it's only Asunas. So that's a, a small advantage in favor of Aura Electro, I think. Yeah, I mean, the game's been pretty slow so far, but I think Aura are just so good at slowing the game down when they need it to be slowed down you know when they have uber disad they're just that little bit so aggressive that bus crew need to really be slow and methodical about everything they're doing to make sure they don't drop some players um i hope we have a soldier in he's in and he got in pretty far without getting dropped or, or getting spotted there but poison unable to get all the way in where he wanted to i also want to point out that this is a pretty bad spot for a banner you can see as soon as he's trying to spam people out but there's no real good spot to get in here, but we have a soldier in the end with the, with the equalizer just desperately trying to get onto the medic, and oh no. That's just that as well. Yeah, this is looking quite dicey. Two players down here for more Electro. Yeah, and they have Warped already behind them. The whole team coming into Yard to catch them out. Warped on the scout. Goes down, but gets the scout low, so they're just going to have to heal back up and eat all this spam. Bus crew coming in for the Uber trade now. Or is, is popped first. Eventually, Yawn quite low. Hemp on the flank though, loses. Martin can't catch him. Oh, will Martin get caught by the scout here? Ama just can't. Demo spamming him just far back enough. And Slash is going to die in the flank as well. So, Aura can t push in the mid with this. No scouts alive. 
They can just bomb Azunus all the way in and then walk forward. It really feels like there's just a, a scout advantage right now on Aura Electro because the scouts just keep winning on the flank right now for Aura Electro. So definitely yeah. the uh, the slash Hempus combo is uh, showing their inexperience right now, I think. And it, it's kind of costing them. But, uh, you know, luckily for them, they haven't lost a round to, to anything yet. So they, they can get back into this and, and adjust just fine here. So Ubers are exactly even. They're like following each other perfectly at this very moment. So uh, sit back, people, as uh, we are entering another uh, stalemate here. But uh, I think it's going to be a pretty quick uh, jump in here from a soldier to try, maybe try and get a force out. Yeah, as soon as all the way in on Martin, but Martin with a nice surf. Goes pretty low, but there's a pack from on point to pick up. Um, yeah, I mean, that last Uber trade was a really weird. It seemed like Bus Crew had such a big advantage with Aura popping their Uber maybe two or three seconds quicker. Um, but yeah, nothing come off it. They're trying to get into mid, warped in, but going down. Poison in on the other side, trying to get onto Olga, but just eventually going down himself. So both soldiers down. And I think they feel they can just get in here for absolutely free. They're going through the flank, maybe trying to catch someone out if they're too aggressive, but Ubers are even here, so... Yeah, they're just going to retreat inside of the point. Oh, actually just, the Uber comes out very aggressively for more Electra, and they send in a soldier as well, so their Uber's not going to be very long. They're going to have to get out of here, so... As soon as is kind of behind lines, like, uh, he's on the flank here, so he's putting pressure in up there at the same time that people have trying to go in through the main but it has not really worked out he has now warped and try and see if he can take this fight against the soldier it looks like he's gonna win it uh nope he didn't quite take it all right i don't think he realized how weak Rons was so he's gonna actually manage to get out of there Rons. and nemo he actually has an opportunity now to come up on some sort of off class but looks like he's gonna elect to just go scout i mean that's a pretty good class if we're being fair <laughs> but, uh, yeah you know scout it's okay yeah and I mean, it's not like it's the best spot to go sniper. You can definitely do it, but uh, it, it's a bit awkward, uh, <laughs> awkward mm. angles here because everything's just so enclosed, right? So, but I, I, I quite like having a sniper in this situation, to be honest. But like you can uh, take him in far left, or you can uh, just snipe through the door. There's a really long sight line there, so you, you can gain a lot of space just off of the, the sniper sight lines. It looks like they're gonna go through uh, the stairs, and Ron's once again gonna go down. He now has a, an opportunity to go for a banner if he wants to. So yeah, we'll, I think... We'll see. Oh, as soon as on the flank, 2 HP. They don't shoot wow, him, though. gets out. So both teams just, you know, Aura are trying exactly what Bus were doing earlier in the game, which is you take that flank and try and find a weakness to send a Sully in true. And Bus really looks like they want to push the flank here. They're bringing their heels around, but they can't find anything because you need to go out of a tiny shutter door. <laughs> It's a, it's a small flank, and it can be quite difficult to navigate, that's for sure. And both teams have been really good at oh, just... they're in! It. Nevo just gets Slash! Oh, he's just And Asunis is in behind! Poison's up top, so they know he's there, but this is just yeah. enough that Warped has to go behind. He didn't so... actually realize how, how clear the... Like, Poison accidentally fell down, and then Asunis just walked in, and he could have just dropped down onto the Medic. But he mm. didn't realize where Martin was at that time, so then he just like tried to go behind, and then he went into Warped. So, uh, but the bus crew there catching a break off of a mistake there by Poison uh, on his positioning. He just fell down. He's like, just slipped off the edge for a little bit and as soon as just waddled in. Yeah, but, uh, it was really unlucky because both of Aura's soldiers were in great positions to get on the medic there, but just, you know, they can't see people through walls, like you said, so they don't know exactly what's going on. Indeed, it's a. Uh... It's an unfortunate fact that uh, all these guys are not map. I mean, it's a good thing, right? Yeah, that, that's what I meant to say. So, Nevo, he's in there on Spy. He's on the boiler. There's no way that get, that gets checked, right? No, no one mean, ever stands up there. Yeah, why would you stand up here? He drops down. He's on Martin. He and no one's checking, by the way. Like, they don't suspect that. Oh, uh, they turn around and he oh, pushes the stab. Oh, that's so random. Uh, that's Spy in a nutshell right there. They just turned around for no reason, basically because of the spam. Like he was coordinating with his team, but his team did too much damage. And everyone just like turned around to walk away <laughs> from the team stickies. That's a very that's a very interesting problem to have. My team is just doing too much damage. Poison's yeah. in, but Asun is gonna pressure him back. Oh, nice little jump on slash for Rons, but going low himself and it looks like Bus Crew are getting all the positioning here. The demo's disconnected. 
Ooh, pipes hemp away, but he's in a 1v1 with Yawn. Eventually goes down. Yeah, not quite getting out in time. The Eames uh, positioning a bit poor there. So now there's going to be no stickies to hold anyone back here from the bus crew. Uh, there's obviously still an Uber for them to contend with, but, you know, they can just walk through the flank. Normally, there's going to be stickies to pop that door and it takes forever to just uh, clear that out. But now there's nothing because he's dead. So now Eames, he has finally rejoined his team, but not before Warp kind of got in behind it. Everyone else on this team just managed to gain so much space. And this yacht is now split in two, but look at this. There's a back cap going on with Nevo. That's going to at least pull one player back. It's Slash versus Nevo. This has gone to Nevo a bunch of times. Looks like he's going to go Yon's going back. He knows he needs to. No faith in a scout. Picks up Nevo. I don't know. Like the whole Uber exchange did come out, and Yon is now the only one alive, but, you know, he is now dead as well. So that back cap did so much work. and It just forced people back to stop the back cap, and they did need to go back there and stop it, but also because Jan went back and blocked the point, he also wasn't there to help his medic win the fight. So, I don't know, what, what do you do with Jan there, right? It's a rock at a hard place you're kind of stuck at. Yeah, I mean, someone needs to go back, but at the end of the day, do you really need your demo to be the one to go back? It's, um, you know, he gets an Evo for it, but just concedes so much space. Indeed, so now Olga about to have his own Uber again. And I quite like going up top when you have this uber advantage because you can just push all the way into last with it. It looks like they're just uh, taking the time. Maybe they're just going to go through lower. You can also go in through left side or you can just go in right. And this is the, the hardest place to spare from the way they're going in. And they have uh, a single scout and a soldier just putting pressure onto the point, which I quite like. So they're taking it slow. and They, they do okay. uber. They uber uh, slash forces out the uber and they're taking it in, but... Ron's trying to jump in on Martin, hits one rocket, can he hit the second? Oh, eventually he hits it, but Martin's already used Uber. So they're going to, bus crew going to use this to try and push into second, but players aren't healthy for them, and it is five players for each team. So I don't know if they'll be able to get this. It looks like Aura going right back in, Amma across point, and Eames spamming through the doorway, but... Poison's both. going behind through the drop down, so he's going to come in through this flank area. It's oh yeah, super Olga. dangerous. Ooh, not oh. quite. If there had been like a bit more coordination with his team there, they could have come in from the front. Maybe that could have worked out, but uh, yeah, the point still falls because both soldiers were down. There was only a single demo to hold the point. And demos are good at holding the second point, but a single demo can only hold so much, you know, before all these things get like picked off by scouts or bounced around or whatever. So uh, eventually they're going to try and come back in here. The Ubers are even, but warp going down. That's a lot of spam. Yon is so low. They can just yeah. bomb onto him. Ron's going in now, but he's already healed back up from the arrow. Uber comes out. Ama and Ron's against Yon. Poison jumps away, so it's just a solo demo Uber. Ama trying to find something, but everyone's just shiny in front of him. Eventually, they're getting cap time. Ama on the point as well. They're just going to cap. Uh, deja vu. Scout stands on the point, and just a bit too much going on there for anyone to get onto it. This time around, it was a lot more forgivable, I think. It was a, <laughs> it was a very uh, nice push coming out here from more Electro. They, they lost a, a scout early on, but they did still managed to get enough done. I really loved how they, they got the Uber out, and then they just sent the soldier away from the Uber. They were like hunting for the, the poison kill for so long. Uh, and I just love the way that War Electro just switched attention from one side to the other there. And they're going to get the first round of that after like 20 minutes. So it's a long round, but uh, it's a round nonetheless. Yeah, now a double bomb. Hi. As soon as on the lamp, this isn't something you see often. Soldier bombing into mid on the lap. Dropping onto Yawn, can't get anything. Warped goes down in the meantime. As soon as he's still behind, trying to find someone to shoot rockets at. As Amma's walking at Martin, Martin's so low. Hemp is not even helping his medic, and Martin's gonna go down. Yeah, there's a nice little air pipe there from Yawn, but unfortunately, as soon as didn't die, and there we go, as soon as ends up with the 3k, and it's an absolute classic from as soon as. I, I, call, I call the lamp the as soon as spot, basically, because like every mid, I swear, he just jumps onto <laughs> the <that> lamp. <laughs> he, he, he does it really often, at least. Uh, and it's really nice. Like you can see, he just kind of stood up there forever, and no one could retreat out through the choke because then he just drops down on them, right? So mm -hmm. it, it's quite devastating if. Uh, or just at least it, it can lock off an area of the mid where you, which you otherwise wanted to use. So, so, yeah, I would slash needs to hit a big shot here to you know really ensure they can defend this last point. But we're taking it slow enough that if Martin stays alive, this Uber is going to come into play. 
Yeah, let's see. They're gonna Uber in here. <laughs> the, the sneaky that he wants to jump off got bounced quite a lot, so they're just gonna walk in here and take down the sentry gun. They have two soldiers on the right side doing a ton of damage, and the, the counter Uber does come in here without any time on the point. Ron's just trying to hide here on last. He's kind of succeeding at it. Now he's gonna drop down onto the medic, but no, <laughs> it's air shot by poison. It's Goomba stomped by poison, using him as a rocket jumping pad. Yeah, that's his life now. It's a uh, yeah, gets put into. As the on Martin hits both rockets, nice directs, and they're just out. Aura, back onto yard, ready to get out to mid if need be. Eames, a little far forward maybe. They get their respawn, so they're just gonna build this Uber and come back in. Yeah, and the good thing here is that Martin is still dead, so there's not even like heals on the side of boss crew. Normally you can spam in and you have like a bunch of heals, and it can be kind of difficult, but. Right now, you can just chip them down, and all of a sudden, like people are like at half health. So there's going to be very little resistance on this uh, second point, and it's just going to be all up to whether or not the boss crew can set up a good last defense here. They do have a sentinel going up. I think that's going to be level three when it comes in, but the, well, time to find out. It looks like it's only going to be level two, but Eames <laughs> gets taken down by the sentry and the demo man there. That's very unfortunate, and this looks to have kind of failed, but they're, they're going to continue on. Oh, they have the high ground, Poison's gonna go down, Ron's landing in two scouts, gets juggled back out, Ama caught out from midair, and now Olga on the run. Trying to 1v1 the scout? Doesn't get it, but valiant effort. Yeah, did like 100 damage to him there, but that was a full health scout just rushing him down. I, I quite like that he went for that, because there was no way he was running away, so you might as well die quicker, right? You can hit the, the, the kill bind. Or you can get some damage for your logs and, and die quickly as well. Which is Nevo's cool. in the forward spawn though, so if they push True Choke, they're going to be walking right into this sightline. Martin so slow. Nevo peeking out, picks up oh. Yawn. And he's yeah. still in the forward spawn, doesn't care, he's here. Martin's in mid, he can peek Martin here, the Uber comes out. Nevo just still sitting here, waiting for a post Uber frag to pick up. Man, these soldiers are just flying around. Warp hits a nice air shot to clean up the first soldier, then take the second one down, then take. <laughs> a scout as well, I think. No, no, just the two soldiers there. So warp hitting the nice air shot. For, uh, yeah, unfortunate losing Yon there. Uh, I guess it's better than losing the medic, but they're gonna have to give up the Uber advantage to get the midpoint here. Probably not gonna be able to move on <laughs> through. Uh, Warp's gonna try anyway, but yeah, that's not gonna work. And now they have a 50% disadvantage here on the bus crew. Gains and it's only a sword of being healed right now on the side of the bus crew. So, what Uber is going to be slightly longer here, but that's going to work out pretty well for them. There's a fight on the flank as well. Two soldiers doing a ton of damage, but Warp's going to get saved by some heals in the air. Just as I say that, he goes down though. But now it's a four on three in favor of the bus crew. But I think they might think that someone went behind. Like, they're definitely scanning the area. It looks like they finally decided that the, it's clear enough for them to move on to mid. Yeah, hemp on the high ground there, and so oh, Scout gets Eames gets caught by some nice stickies. Slash wants to take this all the way in, no fear. So Bus Crew looks like they want to slow it back down, just get this cap. But um, yeah, I mean, Aura are building Uber here, so maybe a tiny, tiny ad, like two percent. So nothing gonna come of it, but they are building better, which I feel is indicative of kind of how this game is going as a whole. Maybe Aura. Will but they're high in, high in the prize a bit more with Warped with a big bomb. Can't get anything just on the flank, but everyone coming into Olga, big spam gets forced. Uber comes to save Yon and Hempus in it too. This is gonna definitely be a, a retreat pattern here for Aura Electro. Eames is still outside, completely alone by the way. Um, he's just alone. Hello, everyone? Eames, he needs help. Uh, help? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There was some, some miscommunication there, it seems, but the Hempers is going to eventually get taken down. Uh, I think Eames just yelled at them for like five straight seconds, just get the hell out of there. Maybe I did it for him, I'm not sure. But either way, he is going to survive that, and Orlex, they're going to push it back here. And, you know, the bus crew, they are kind of running out of time. There's four minutes remaining, they're down around. So I think that's why we're seeing them be a bit more aggressive than we've seen them be so far. Yeah, and I mean, it's even Ubers again, so... 
Aura have all the time in the world, you know, the Sakasali as in he's already back on the lamp. Drops down in the end, but uh you know they can just get this Uber, then maybe sack in a soldier, or just wait for a bus crew to try and do something at this point. I definitely think Aura and like, Electro are just gonna wait for them to do something. Uh, Poison definitely gonna be the the first person to try and do something and the second soldier. Warped gets well. Eames though. That's so big, and Ama gets caught by a nice pipe from Yon. So, they have no soldiers, but they look like they want to take this true choke. Hemp is alone with Martin. They don't want to sack a, anyone onto Martin here, even though he's alone with one scout. Ron's taking on scout. Gets caught by Olga. Of all things. I bet you that was a healing arrow that a scout just jumped in front of. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't think Eames is there to put up Sticky Trap yet, so... Buscrew, they're just gonna run in here. They take down Ron's immediately. Martin is in pretty deep. Being spammed quite a lot. He's gonna pop sooner or later. Uh, eventually, right? Yeah, okay, there we go. Poison Max is gonna get the force out and then kind of get out alive. Yeah, Poison is still around. That's so annoying. Eventually gonna get picked off there, but he got the Uber Force out and now the bus crew, they have this full Uber advantage. They've gone all the way back into their own second and they're just gonna be able to hold on to this. And now they have uh, a pretty good position here where they can move forward with an uber advantage. They just need their spawners to come back. And then they have about two and a half minutes to go back into the the enemy last and cap it out. Two minutes here, it's going to be so tight. Ron's hiding, hoping they're just playing way too aggressive and too fast. And he's going to catch someone out. As he's down, but do they check Ron's here? They just oh, uber they just straight uber. out. They just uber out the door. There's nothing there. Wow, that's, uh, that's a bit weird. Like especially considering, yeah, especially considering they had to push all the way back into latch. You'd think they just want to hold on to it. But they just decided to go in there. They must have really thought that everyone from Orelect were holding out there. But no, that's not the case. Even putting out a ton of damage. These scouts, they're trying their best to clean up. They're gonna clean up the first one, and there we go. A nice pipe for as well. Slides in behind, but not able to get in a kill. Warped in now. Ooh, goes what down. A pipe one by one coming in. Poison stuck and choke goes down. That's a wipe for bus crew. Minute 30 left, and... Or are just kind of going to last here. Maybe Yon has time to just about deny this cap, but it's looking rough. No, can't even get out the spawn door. Yeah, that, that's game. Just uh, that push, just uh, the one by one lemmings into the enemy team. Not quite good enough. There's Or Electro just going to choke out the bus crew. That's what it feels like to me this game. It was just a slow, brutal submission. Uh, just. So slowly edging them out, and now it's going to be two to zero with a minute remaining, which is impossible. So let's see. Okay, I guess I can rant about how no one went stock pipes to mid. Guys, <laughs> stock pipes to mid are so good on this map. Like you don't understand how well they they arc over the the pipe, or over the the crates. All right, I'm gonna every time we play on granite, I'm gonna complain about that because that is so good, <laughs> and people don't do it. Yeah, I mean. It was a pretty good game overall, really uh, slow-paced, I think, by Aura's decision there, you know, they wanted to slow things down. Um, we saw a few times where Eames was just kind of on his own, either on mid or in yard, but um, eventually, you know, nothing really came of him getting caught out either of those times. I think he managed to stay alive both times, so... Yeah, didn't get punished. And uh, actually, Buscrew, they're, they're going to try and see if they, they can get around out of this. But in there, they got quite a lot of kills already. Looks like they're going to go for the Medic, and that's going to be time. Two to zero for or Electra. They're going to take the full map, or the full match in two maps. They, they're going to get six points out of this. So or Electra, I think, are now number one in the tables, uh, officially at least, with, uh, with six points out of two matches. And the bus crew, they're going to have to look themselves in the mirror and... Uh, Asked himself, well, what do we do? Because we have zero points so far. They did play faint in the first one, so maybe slightly expected, but yeah, it definitely felt like the bus crew could have taken points in this game. Like, they were never out of it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Sunshine definitely looked a lot better for them than Granary. I mean, Granary, the scoreline was quite close, but you kind of got the feeling that Aura were in the driver's seat for a lot of that game. Uh, yeah. Sunshine, at least it looked like, you know, Bus Crew were taking some initiative from time to time and trying to get things done. Yeah, it, it just really felt like uh, the scout difference was quite a bit on Granary. Like uh, Nevo and Amarok were do, doing a lot more work and like winning on the flank and winning the 1v1s and such. 
uh, compared to Slash and Hempus, who were struggling quite a bit. This, this is obviously quite a well-known sorter map, and especially with the new uh, new plugins and stuff, it makes it even better for soldier. But yeah, scouts uh, they, they need to do more, I think, if uh, if Blasku wanted to have a chance at this. But hey, uh, a good effort overall. I I do wonder what the do we know who they're playing next? I'll, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Uh, I can find that out right now. Week three, Aura are playing Nerd Rage. Ooh, that'll be a good game to watch. Oh, uh, yeah, and the uh, bus crew, they're actually playing against... Uh... They Wait. do not have a week three game, because uh, Goblin Clan have died. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, Rebranded so... to uh, Coffin Clan. Coffin Clan. <laughs> At least that's a funny name. But man, don't, don't drop in the middle of... Like, in week one. That's weak. Um, uh, there was some discussion going on. This is some leaked info. Uh, there was some discussion in the TFTV Discord about uh, what could be done. Um, there was some discussion about, you know, Critzburg maybe moving back up, but that didn't seem to be an option. Um, one of the things that was considered is a uh, Yaks team called, uh, I think, uh, Vibram's Five Fingers in Div 1, moving that team up. But um, there was some pushback because they won their week one game and uh, giving the team six free points, moving them up into Prem might be a bit too strong. Yeah, it, it's difficult to, to solve uh, elegantly, that's for sure. Right, because there is just this one week where they didn't do anything. So, uh, yeah, oh well. It's a, it's a bit of drama going on there. But uh, yeah, unfortunately for Boss Crew, they're going to not have a game next week, but they, they are going to play against Garda Pantry in week four. So that should be a good chance for them to get some points back, uh, at the very least. But hey, they, they put on a pretty good show. I don't think we have any interviews or anything, so I, I think we should just wrap it up uh, as soon as possible. So uh, I will point out that we will be back tomorrow with the top five Rocket versus Global Clan on Team Fortress TV. It will be at 21.15 CET, as it always is. And then there's probably some other game being scared. Wow, they're all scheduled in like different days. Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That's incredible. I know, it's crazy. I can't Sunday, believe they've done this. We have uh, Nerd Rage vs. Faint on the same channel and uh, at the same time again, 9.15 Central European time. Yeah, great stuff. So, uh, big shout out to, to Lightclaw for, for doing production. We always need more producers. It really is like the one thing we, we need more than almost anything in this community to make all of these uh, these matches happen so that you guys can see them. We've been pretty good at covering every single game in uh, Europe uh, these many, many, many seasons, but it, it has taken a toll on some of the producers that have been doing a lot of the work, right? like Arch Rhythm and, and V-Truth and whatnot. So absolutely, it, it's great to have a new producer in here, and uh, I'm sure you did a great job. I, I hope he got like at least a few T-Tours in chat. <laughs> I feel like uh, any new producer deserves some of those. But uh, definitely share some love with the uh, with Light Claw there. And uh, Dempsey, it was a, it was an absolute joy casting with you. It always is with you, my friend. And I will use this opportunity to also say that uh, Team Fortress TV is always looking for some writers, especially in Europe. And um, we've had some few uh, good applicants so far this last week or so, but. If you are interested in writing some articles about uh, new teams cropping up, if you want to do some interviews with players, um, please get in touch with either uh, Ayer, Elkir, or even just shoot myself a Twitter message and I'll get back to you. And with that, uh, thank you guys for watching so much. We'll be back tomorrow. Have a good night, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the game as much as we did. Uh, peace out. <laughs>